Good morning again, it's Chef Monica in the kitchen. I'm gonna show you a blueberry banana bread because I'm sure by this point in our self uh, distancing, social distancing, whatever the hell we're calling it, we all have a lot of really old bananas. So I've got a cup and a half of all purpose flour. To that, we're gonna add a little bit of salt, probably about a, roughly half a teaspoon or so, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, and then a pinch of pumpkin pie spice, probably about a teaspoon to a teaspoon of a half. I should measure that accurately, but I'm very bad at measuring because I don't like to, so I like to buck the rules. All right, and then to our wet ingredients, we've got our slightly overripe, very overripe bananas. We're gonna go ahead and pop in an egg. Add about, oh, a quarter of a cup of the, that's about all of that of oil. Grapeseed oil in this case. Grapeseed oil in this case. You could also use canola or vegetable, whatever you happen to have at home. A little bit of vanilla extract. A wee bit of lemon extract. So again, we've got the lemon and blueberry. They love each other. And then I forgot to get the sugar. So hold that thought. Let me grab sugar. Three quarters of a cup of sugar which I'm just gonna quickly measure out. This is organic sugar, so you'll notice it looks a little bit darker than normal sugar. That's only because it's not completely refined. It has a little bit of the um, molasses still in there. And then, this is my favorite like total hack. Instead of trying to use a um, whisk for this, we're gonna use a potato masher to mash up the bananas. Totally easy that way. Then it gets really, really well homogenized so that we can mix it all together with our dry ingredients. Real quick tip, if you're going to bake anything that has baking soda or baking powder in it, those are uh, quick leaveners, you wanna make sure that you have your oven preheated um, because basically there's sort of a dough lasting thing that happens. The first action of leavening happens when you add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. The second action happens when you put it into the oven. Those need to happen in quick succession, otherwise your uh, quick bread won't rise as well as it should. The other thing is, if you've got a recipe that calls for unsalted butter, make sure you use unsalted butter and not salted, and vice versa. The salt in your recipe is ex extremely important in terms of making sure that it leavens properly as well. It'll change the pH of the uh, batter. I know baking is such a science and I'm not a scientific person. I'm a much more creative person. So it goes against everything I believe in, but I do it anyways, just for you. Cause I'm She's nice talking to the anyway. cameraman, just for you. Well, okay, just for you. Cause I'm the one who's gonna eat this have blueberry you, banana bread. Yes, have you noticed the theme? Every single thing I've made so far, I made basically for my husband, but it's for you too. It's all about love because food is about love, right? So we want to stir this until it's just combined. You don't want to overmix it because otherwise the batter becomes tough. And that's almost there. So at this point, I'm going to add in all my blueberries. Um, let's Not see. Almost. We probably want you, I was going to say, that's a big batch of blueberries. Probably about half of these. Yummy. Because what's going to happen is while this bakes, the blueberries will sort of break down and almost um, become like like in like a jam inside of it, which is awesome. So that when you um, cut into it, you'll see all the stripes of blueberry, blueberries, blueberries in the middle, and it's delicious. And holy cow, I'm getting my arm workout doing this. I just wanna make sure this is completely combined. I have a loaf pan here. It's greased with a little of the grapeseed oil, or you could use uh, softened butter. We'll transfer this into that. That will then go into an oven that's preset at 375 degrees for approximately 55 minutes or so. This is a grease, we need to spread And it once it is golden brown and um, you stick a toothpick in it, it comes out clean, it'll be ready to go. And then we'll go ahead and let it cool completely, cut into it and eat it. So our lemon blueberry banana bread came out of the oven. It's been cooling, so it's now ready to come out. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just score around the edges. It smells absolutely divine. And I'm gonna cut up a slice here so you can see what the inside looks like. I'm gonna cut it from the middle because I want you to really get the image of all the blueberries. Look at that. Ah, yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so, and because I subscribe to the Julia Child School of Cooking, 
Uh, I like to cook with wine and sometimes I even put it in the food. But granted the fact that we've had technological problems all day since we've been in quarantine for, oh, how many days now? I'm going full out, so enjoy guys. We're calling this drunken banana bread because why not? I'll stick to my coffee. Have fun.